Hello, hello, welcome back to another installation of What Would Lou Do? So what does Lou have in store for you today? Well, today we're performing a minor surgery on the old P365X Black Row here. How dare you! So what parts exactly are we going to be installing on here? We're going to be swapping out the trigger shoe and the mag release. Parts we're going to be using come to us from Armory Craft. We've been using their stuff for a while. We've used their master spring kit that has uh, everything that lightens it up and just makes the overall shooting experience that much better. And so this is what we're going to be using today and uh, I'll have links in the description where you can find these and a code for you guys to save you some moolah as well. All you're going to need is literally these two tools. That's it. Now it doesn't have to necessarily be these two exact things, but you're going to need a punch to poke out this pin right here and uh, there's a smaller one on the inside that you can use this for as well this is just a paper clip uh, you can also use a thumbtack to pop out uh, this pin here however the main thing we're going to be using this for is to take out the mag release and so I figured it would be good to show you guys how to do this that way if you want to do it save yourself some time and money and just start doing these things yourself right because part of owning a firearm is knowing that firearm how everything works how everything functions because if you have a problem you will know how to assess that most of the stuff that you will encounter you can solve yourself so uh, let's show you guys what I've opted to put in here if you um, wanted to use different components this video would still work for you Let's show you what the trigger looks like trigger shoe and this is it all right so you see it looks similar to the other one same shape and all but it's got these uh little holes here in them kind of make it a little a little stylish a little funk on my fire you know what i'm saying and then as far as the mag release goes this is an extended mag release it's not completely different from the other one you can see this one did have some striations and this is an improvement over the older style. The older style uh, was smooth on top and it was canted, whereas this one is kind of, kind of, you know, leveled. Uh, but this one's extended, so it's going to stick out a little more and uh, it has the same striations uh, vertically, but it also has them going horizontally as well. So it's, it's going to bite onto your finger a little bit better. And so we're going to swap out that for this. So we're going to start with the easy one first and, and change out the mag release. If by any chance you aren't installing the mag release and are just wanting to see how to change out the trigger, go ahead and skip to this point right here. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Two other things you'll probably need for this, or I'm going to use, you don't have to. But I usually like to use a rag to lay down here and, and lay my parts on. That way I don't get grease and stuff and oil all over my backdrop here because this is what I film on. If it's just a table, yeah, you just wipe it off, no problem. You could also use gloves if you want. When I take my fire and control unit out and I'm going to handle it in my hands, I just go ahead and wipe it down so I don't have all that oil and grease all over my hands. And speaking of which, uh, grease, we will be putting that on. So, like I said, we're going to start with the easy one first. And so you're going to go ahead and take your paper clip here and go ahead and get it to about that kind of angle right there or whatever tool you're using. And uh, so what we're working is on this side. There's a hole right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this paper clip and stick it in. You're going to push it forward and then you're going to kind of scoot it up like this. There's kind of like an elbow in there. And what you're doing with that paper clip is pushing against it and then you're going to pry it up. And that allows enough clearance for it to get past this little lip right there and it'll pop out. Push it up and pop your pin down in there. Push it forward. Right, forward, and then scoot it up. And once you get it like that, you can literally grab it and pull it out. And there you go. So let me show you what I was talking about. So you see right there the little, the little arm I was talking about? So you're pushing on that, and then you're kind of prying up at the same time and for this you can literally just pull this up and out 
Boom. What I like to do with this is to take a little bit of grease. If you're using oil, this probably isn't going to work for you other than, you know, maybe lubricating it. But if you put a little dab of grease right there, not only is that going to lubricate it, but it's going to hold your spring in place. So you pop that spring in and then if I turn that upside down, right, spring is still there, not going anywhere. Goes in this orientation. Kind of just fit it through. You might have to finagle it a little bit. And then turn it over to the other side. See where you're at. Sometimes it doesn't really want to go exactly where you need it to. All right, I can feel it's pretty much there. So take the little elbow, stick it down in there. And when you feel it click, you can let go. And uh, there you go. It is done. So just verify that it works. Good. And that's all there is to it, right? It's easy peasy lemon squeezers. If you wanted to change that out, don't sweat it. It's a piece of cake. If I wasn't talking and showing you guys and illustrating everything, I would have had that done in probably a minute and maybe a minute and a half. So now if you're going to replace the trigger shoe, let's uh, show you how to do that as well. So take our little raggy here. Go ahead and lay it out to lay our parts on. Put them in order that you take them off. And take them off the same way that I do and you'll see that it goes very quickly. Should go without saying, but this weapon should be cleared. If you have a magazine, take it out, lock it back, drop that lever down, pull it off. There you go. We don't need this. So now you're going to take your punch, just pop this out, pin out. Doesn't matter which side you go through. So we'll stick that right there. Pull out your fire and control unit and don't need this now. So like I said, this is covered in grease. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off a little. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about it slipping in my hands or absorbing anything into my skin, which goes into my liver and so on and so forth. First things first, this little lever right here at my thumb, you're gonna turn it at an angle like that. This lever here, you're gonna push it down with your finger. Make sure this is back, pop this out. Go ahead and push that back down flat so, so it doesn't fall off. Okay, and then here, this just unhooks. So that goes right there. You take your uh, takedown lever out. Then there's another piece. And now we swap over to this side. You can take this pin out right here, or you can take this spring out. I usually take the spring out first. And what I do is I just, I hold this trigger down this way, because otherwise, if you go prying on this, it's going to pull that. All right, so I literally just hold it down in my hand like this, with my thumb against the back end. And I just take this punch, and out it comes, right? So I'm pry down on it and it comes up. If you don't have your thumb there, it'll go pyong that way. Ask me how I know about that. So there is the spring. And that is actually one of the ones you will replace if you get the uh, master spring kit. And you'll see that in one of the, our future videos. We did replace those on here, but we will be doing it to another model just to show you guys how beneficial it really is to you. You take this little bar loose, but don't try to pry this out. This pin first has to come out. So again, our paper clip, you poke through here and I'll show you the little pin. There it comes, right? So this tiny little pin right here. And now this is wobbly enough to where you can unhook that and put that right there. Now this pops out. That's pretty much everything you have to do in order to replace your trigger shoe. And then basically the operation is the reverse. And so if you don't have lubrication in here, again, I, I strongly suggest you use grease. Grease stays put a lot better than oil. You can get some that are thicker viscosities, but from what I found, most gun oil is really, really thin. The only time I use it is for hard to reach places. Maybe like up in here somewhere I would stick some in. But otherwise, I just grease it up very well. Um, 
I'm not worried about it being too much. There's no such thing as too much. Now I'm going to take and put a little bit in between here. I'm going to put a little bit in this hole so that when the pin goes through, it can be lubricated as well. Because you don't want dry parts because these parts, if they're not lubricated, they'll cause friction. Friction causes heat. Heat will crack the metal and wear your parts out much faster. So sugar just pops in there and like so. And then we're going backwards, like I said. So you take the curved in, right? It dips down. It goes in behind there. And you'll kind of feel it once you get it up under there. Then you just drop it back down here again. In there like that. So now you take this little pin here and stick it through there. Sometimes it'll go straight through. Sometimes you have to kind of wobble this around a little bit. That time it went straight through. And right there, if it looks like that, it is flush. Okay, so now we stick our spring in here. The spring has a little lip that it rests on right there, moving back and forth. One end sits there and the other end goes up into this bar. Like we did before, we're going to hold the trigger down and then we're going to push this downward. But keep your thumb on the back side because this is where it really wants to fly out on you. Okay, you see right there, I've got it resting on that edge. If I just push it over a little bit, boom. And then verify that everything is working, pulling and lubricated. And uh, that's good to me, mine. All right, we are almost done, guys. So then you just pop this down. Well, a little bit of lubrication on it first. And before I stick it in there, I'm going to show you right here. There's a, there's a small groove right there. That is what this piece right here hooks up into. And so when you stick it in, you stick it in, twist it outward like that, kind of like at the uh, eight o'clock position. And then you take a little bar and it goes up inside that groove right there. Okay. And so go ahead and turn that back out. Press this again, pushing this down so that this can get clearance and get in front of that. And this, you don't want to see it raised up. If you press on this and it's moving or it's up, then that means that lever is behind here instead of being in front of it. You got to make sure that once you put that there, you twist that lever back down, okay, to where it's flat like that horizontally. And that will make sure that this bar does not pop out. If you were to leave it turned like that, for instance, it'll pop right out and your trigger will basically be dead. And then right here, there's going to be two little grooves and they're kind of mating. Then everything is ready to go back into the gun. So now when you're sticking it back into the grip module, you stick it downwards and at an angle, right? So it's kind of goes under like that because there's these two grooves right there, right there. They correspond with that groove and that groove. If it feels like it's not going in there correctly, it's probably because you haven't slid it up into those. But once you do, It'll go like that and it'll be flat and even. So now you just take your pin, pop it back through, and then uh, just go ahead and lube it up. You might want to verify that you fixed it before you go and lube it up. I know I have because I've done this so many times. Okay, and then you want your takedown lever to be more at this angle. So when you pop it back, it does automatically like that. Now you can do like that a little bit. And so, let's test. Good. All right, do a little wiper and you're good to go. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. It's really that easy, that simple. It's not that complicated. I know there are a lot of moving parts in there, 
But like I said, once you follow along and, and learn all these parts, like the, the, the real anatomy of the firearm, you realize what everything does. Like that's why one of those uh, tech mats can be actually very helpful because it breaks down all the little pieces, gives you the names, and you can look up what every part does. That way, if you have a problem in the future, you're like, okay, I should look at this, this, or this. Or, okay, wait, there's only one co part that controls this. This is what I need to look at, you know? So uh, definitely know your firearm. Know how to use it, sure, but learn it. You know, learn what makes it function, what makes it tick, <laughs> what makes it go boom, and um, you'll be much better off that way. So there you go. He uh, got a facelift and he looks much cooler now. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, we ask you to just strike that like, swear that bell, subscribe and vibe with us and make us feel all appreciated, Katie, baby. We appreciate you guys for watching. As we always say, seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near because he is near unto those that be of a broken heart and save such that be of a contrite spirit. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. He resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. So cast yourself down before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Till next time, my friends, take care, and God bless.